Hi everyone, this is going to be a presentation about my passion project, which is going to be about a type of animation that has unexpectedly captured my attention and interest not too long ago. It's a type of animation called anime. So for people who don't know what anime is, it, it comes from the word animation, and it's basically the sound of it. However, it's a Japanese type of animation that can be either hand-drawn or graphically illustrated, and it's very much characterized by bright, colorful graphics portraying unique and different characters. So nowadays, anime is becoming increasingly popular around the globe with the help of the internet. And by, th and by that I mean, there are lots of streaming services that are offering animes and lots of free websites we can watch with high, good quality and with your preferable subtitles. It's very convenient for people like me who enjoy watching anime or people who want to try watching anime for their first time. So here is me watching some of my favorite shows off from Netflix, and if they don't have it on that streaming platform, I will watch it on um, this, uh, plot, this website for free. And uh, another reason why it's becoming well known is that there are people, there are lots of people cosplaying to their favorite anime characters. They're gathering to create big events to enjoy themselves. So here are some of the examples. Uh, people cosplaying as their, uh, as their anime characters. And here are the events that occurred around the world for the past few years. Here is in London, here is in Singapore and USA. Now, one very big m misconception that I want to discuss in this presentation, and probably the reason why I chose anime as my passion project, is that whenever we hear the word anime, we all would associate it with children movies that are presented in the Western culture, such as Disney's or Marvel cartoons. Basically, anything that's childish and filled with unrealistic fantasies. Not that it's a bad thing. Anime also have those type of genres, but there's more to that, and I wanted to get in detail with, with that information. So anime is versatile. Most anime can be tar tar targeted towards teenagers, and some are for children. They are limitless. Because cartoons are for young girl audience, they're, they're supposed to have a happy ending to every of their stories for the kids to enjoy. They must include happiness. But however, it's not the case for anime because it touches upon subjects that have not been displayed on your typical cartoon shows. It doesn't primarily focus on making people laugh. If it's filled with, um, it's filled with mixed emotion, just like what you will see in the Hollywood movies or series. Here is some of the movies that I've watched that made my eyes balled out. It was very dev devastating for me. Um, like I said, there are lots of genres in anime, and here are a few examples. In this animation, this is called Haikyuu, and it's associated with sports. And I'm pretty sure most people who enjoy volleyball would know this movie. It's basically about teamwork and, and a group of teams competing against each other in, for playing volleyball. And for Demon Slayer, it's an action movie. However, it can be, wa it can be watched um, for children and adults. It's not too intense, and it has very good quality and good graphic designs. Another example would be *The Wind Rises*. It's a fiction movie based on the boy based on the boy during the World War II. What's fascinating about this movie is that, with as little voice acting as possible included throughout this movie, it leaves you in a state of mind where you feel a deeper connection to the surrounding. So, if, for example, you could hear people people laughing, birds chirping, and airplanes flying. And also you can hear a slightly movements of the hand gesture of the characters. And after watching the movie, I was just left speechless because I was able to understand every single part of the movie without even having to you know, listen to the, 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 the voices of the actors. It was just based on all the nature voices. Here is the scenes, some of the scenes trailer for The Wind Rises.
person. That's it for now. As you can tell, it was visually gorgeous and satisfying to watch. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on to the uh, another example. It's going to be Cells of Work. It's, it's an educational anime that is pretty much about cells that are functioning and working with your dif with different types of your body parts to maintain your immune system. It's a very it's very good and educational. And the history of anime started with paper and pen, and it's a type of comic strip and graphic novels made by the Japanese called manga. Most of almost all of the animes that have been released so far are based on the manga books, manga comic books. Now, typically when we read comic books, we would read it from the from the top left to all the way to the bottom right. That's how we usually read comic book. But that's not the case for manga. For manga, um, we start here's the instruction on how to read how to read in order. Here we would start from the top right and then we would go all the way down. I know it can be very complex to for for beginners. I was too, but eventually you will get used to it. Okay. Like I mentioned in my presentation where people have misconceptions about anime, I was not gonna lie a part of it. I was a very close minded person which led me to a thought that Anime was for kids, not for teenagers like me, and I wouldn't understand what they were saying anyway. That was my mindset. But quite some time later, in seventh grade, I was introduced to the world of K-pop. Well, now, K-pop was something I hated in the very beginning. Again, I thought I wouldn't understand what they were singing, but later I learned that it was just more than music. It was, it was a sensation. There were performances, there were fashions, choreographies, things you would not find in the Western or even here in Burma, Burma's music industry. A whole package was right over there. And after listening to K-pop music, I realized that, th I realized that language have no barriers. You can listen, watch any type of movies or songs you like, even though you don't understand the language. Language doesn't need to be translated to appreciate something. That's when I started to try watching anime. I did not expect too much from it. I was just being an open-minded person and trying out new things. And because of the technologies nowadays, I was able to find many animes online. And my very first experience watching anime is this movie called Kim no Nawa. It was very popular back in that time and I've decided to take a look at it. I was very much mind blown at the quality and the plot of the movie. It was something I've never expected to come out from an animation. It was just spectacular. Um, the reason why it got popular was because of the sceneries in the movies. They were recreation of the real places in Japan. Every scene was precisely done. This location, however, it got the most attention. It was, spoiler alert, at the very end, the, where it's where the girl and the boy met. And as an anime fan, I would, I would love to go to Japan and visit this location and take pictures or probably recreate the scene from the movie. Here is the scenes from the animation. そういうことが時々ある。見ていたはずの夢はいつも思い出せない。ただ、ただ何かが消えてしまったという感覚だけが目覚めてからも長く。<笑> できた夢やな。女子力高いんだね。な、え、なんだこれ。これって私夢の中であの男のこと。ないせ。
は東京のイケメン男子にしてください家変わっとるいや、yeah, that's it like I said you can watch it it's very good on to the next slide so here he is the creator of Kimi no Nawa um, his name is Makoto Shinkai and he has created a lot of good animations apart from Kimi no Nawa and I think I pretty much watched all of them and thanks to him I was introduced to anime and my stereotypical mindset of anime has disappeared and I have high expectations of anime from, from then. And so in conclusion, I just want everyone to remember that sometimes the word anime means more than just animation or any cartoons for kids. After watching or listening to my presentation, I just want people to know that there is more to it and I hope you've learned something more or, or new about anime. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed.